Hello, peeps. So I started to pull the bike down and sort out all the little problems I've got to do before I go away. Alexa, shut up. Well, what have I done so far? I've changed uh, rear tyres. I took the old uh, Mitasi 07 off, which any of you will know that it's just a bit of a wrestling match, and I put the Mitas Stone King on the back ready for the environment I'm going to. Uh, new wheel bearings in the rear and seals. Had a bit of a hold up there. <laughs> I put the, put the bike on the deck in a couple of days ago and uh, the missus said, oh, how long is that? I said, ah, oh, it's only going to be on there a couple of hours. And I went to get some wheel bearings, some FAG ones from, from Barry St. Edmunds and they ain't got the seals. So you can't put them back on with shit seals. So... Uh, it's been sitting on here a couple of days now and uh, someone's not really very happy put them in the freezer and they drop in uh, new chain and sprockets just in the process of doing that now um, DID of course to DID on the box be wary I bought one off the internet once um, it said DID on the box not anywhere on the chain could I see DID. So on here you should see DID by 20VX. Um, and now and again there's DID, Japan. But there was nothing. Absolutely nothing. So it was a forgery from our Oriental friends. Right, another way of telling a good chain is also, if you look at the can you see the let's find one single one if you look at that head well if you look at that uh, pin it's been peened over in four places yeah one two three four so that is a good chain you get a cheap chain they only get peened over in a couple of places and the old chain which is all right in an emergency you know What's old, old about it is the pins are a little bit worn. Can you see that? But on the new chain, you won't move them. I will use the link that you pin over, this one, and I should keep the one with the split link somewhere safe for an emergency. Right. So we want this, we want a bit of grease. Put the O-rings on. So this is my plug kit and I'm hoping we've still got some spare links in there, look at that, an assortment. So hopefully if I want to put that one in there and i probably get some O-rings and grease in there as well. So let's not open that grease. Is that grease? Yeah, it's a little bit in there. So you don't need a lot. See if we've got enough in there. Yeah, look at that, it's loads. So we want to squirt a bit on there in readiness. But we've got a lot to do before we can fit this. We've got to cut the chain. Yeah, loads of grease. Look, good thing about putting the grease on, you don't lose the O rings. You want your rear wheel well forward so as to get get as much adjustment as you can out of your chain. But if you go silly forward, it's catching that little flap which protects the shock. Yeah, the old wear and strip here is getting a bit warm, but that'll do a little bit longer. But you don't want to wear right through it because you're going to wear through your swing arm. Once I've done all this, the bike's going to get a massive, massive clean up and degrease. 
by giving it a massive clean up, pulling all the panels off, everything, you will find out if anything don't look right. Yeah, it looks like it's long enough anyway. I'm probably going to have to cut that about there because the wheel is right forward. And we want to get it right though. Yeah, I reckon that's the one. Yep. So I'm going to grind that off there. Yeah, still on the bike. I've moved the camera well away from the grinder. I don't want any sparks to hit the lens. But I'll show you what I've done in a minute. So double check. It's all where I want it. And I would say yes. ground both pins down just the lines starting there but the pin is I want this one to start as well There we go, just starting to move. So a bit of luck I can get. There we go, look at that. Save them O-rings, wherever they went. There's one, there's the other. So. Right, so all we've got to do now is put the new, can you see that? So all we've got to do now is put the new link through and peen it over. Put in the new link. Most of you have probably noticed in the past how tight these new links can be bloody tight sometimes so just let you know how little you need to peen that over but what you do need to do is look at the chain and make sure it's peened over enough for the x-ring or o-ring chain to work properly Same on the other one. Probably can't see none of this shit on the camera. So that's on there nicely. Right, pin through. The link is such a tight fit. Sometimes it's a job to get that to go. So what I sometimes do Put a cable tie just to hold it in place while you're starting it. And all you need is a couple of hammers.
So that's starting to peen over, so I want to peen it over some more. Yep, I ain't going nowhere. Anyone who can get that off of there deserves a medal. If you look, that's about the same gap as all the other links, and it's peened right over nicely. Another thing I like to do, I like to leave a 10 mil spanner on either adjusting nut for easy adjustment. All that leaves to do now is to adjust it up, but with these DID chains, you'll find that you'll adjust it once after the initial sort of running period and then after that you won't have to touch it for ages. These adjusting bolts here are shit. They get rusty inside here, so wind them out and put a bit of copper grease on. And if any of these nuts are starting to knurl over, you're doing them up too tight. They just need pinching. Just a little bit. That's it. So this is how I check my chain. You want a straightest line from here to here to the centre of the sprocket. And pushing down on it. That's just a little bit too tight for my liking. After initial couple of rides, it will need adjusting anyway. That's the chain and sprockets done. That leaves oil and filter, which I'll do soon. A good old clean, check the air filter, and see what else I can find. Wheel bearings in the front have been done recently. There you go. My way of fitting the chain. The other bollocks way.